Hi, Internet. Welcome to the Grudge Run YouTube channel. It is Thin Lizzy Thursday, and this week is the random song. I have no idea what song we're getting into. And actually, the random uh, num r the random music we're listening to, I've never even heard. Um, there's a, a game uh, out called Sea of Stars. I've heard some good things about it. Uh, it's on my wish list on Steam. Um, but... I, I, there's the boss theme. It, it came up as a suggested song. I'm like, you know what? Sure. Why not? That'll be what we listen to while I figure out what Thin Lizzy song we're doing. So enjoy the boss theme from Sea of Stars as I see what Thin Lizzy song we're listening to this week. Alright, thank you. That was just enough time. And the song was... It was alright. It didn't It didn't blow me away. Uh, see, I'm not just like a, a total weeb who's like, Oh man, any video game music is great. I'm just like, it's. it was fine. I, I didn't really... It, it was fine. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was fine. Um, but actually, Doom... What was the newest Doom game? Doom... Franchise... What was... I was talking with... Steve, my my bassist, former bassist, but uh, you know, all, once your bassist, always your bassist. Uh, and then what was the new one that just came out? We were talking about the latest Doom game. Was it Doom Eternal? What was the one where the music? There was some like new Doom game where the guy made uh, music without, like, in a really weird way. And uh, Steve was talking about it with me this morning. Um, I'll just check a random track from it, see what it's like. So it was done with like a very unconventional way. Let's just check this out. Yep, that is that is doom music, all right. All right. Well, anyway, uh, now we're gonna listen to some Black Star Riders. Uh, we're li uh, man, yeah. So I guess like what he was telling me is like the people who had the guy do the latest Doom soundtrack. I guess the prompts they gave him were is like you're not allowed to use guitars. It has to sound like something sound like something nobody's ever heard before. It also has to be like definitively Doom. And so the guy, like, made up this weird instrument and then, like, played it through, like, a weird, like, guitar amp. So, like, it was a story as if it was a guitar, but it wasn't a guitar. And just, like, you could just use a guitar. That's what everyone wants from Doom anyway. But, um, yeah, I mean, it sounded terrible, but, I mean, that's kind of what I expected. Um... But anyway, speaking of uh, terrible hey -oh jokes, uh, we're doing uh, Kiss on the Ground by Blackstar Riders. It's off the first album. Um... I liked this a lot when I would listen to the first album in a more regular basis, but since doing the channel, there's been a lot of negativity towards Blastar Riders, and so even like the the mid tier songs in the album are starting to like look not as good in my eyes, just because there's been so much criticism. So I remember I liked the song a lot back in the day, but I don't know if it's going to hold up under the modern scrutiny. So let's let's you know I'm going to try. Uh, 
You know what? Third time for the charm. Let's see if the third song in this video is cool. You come around with your eyes in the moon. Lies on your face, you're getting all too soon. Scandalize and they criticize. That is a big place around the room. Out of your mind, I'm too cruel to be kind. Man in the mirror, show it all the signs. Stay out of touch, just a bit too much. You spit on the sun, just to dull up the shine. The secrets you keep make your dark so proud. The dark in your sleep gives away how you feel right now. Kissing the ground you walk on. Kissing the world goodbye. Kissing the ground you walk on. What kind of fool was I? You know what? Yeah, this is uh, this is one of the better Blast Star Rider songs. It's got good hooks. Uh, I, I like the opening guitar licks. I think that Ricky's doing a good vocal. I think it's catchy. I think the lyrics are pretty solid. Like, it's a, you know, it's a pretty standard, um, you know, relationship song. But it's um, a bit more poetic and a bit more intelligent. Um, so, like, yeah, these, I mean, these lyrics are good. Um... The hooks are good. The melodies are good. So this this is reminding me why I enjoyed the band in the first place. Um, although I really think the band is really ra- lacking in the rhythm section. I think a stronger rhythm section would have really elevated these songs even higher. I think that um, there's just there's not there's not soul in the rhythm section. I think that's what it really comes down to is that the BSR rhythm section feels like hired gun professionals. And there's there's not soul, there's not swing. It's too on the grid. It it does feel like a bit lifeless, unfortunately. The rhythm section, um, like I think the song is actually good enough where it's counteracting how professional <laughs> the rhythm section is and how hired gun the rhythm section is. Um, but I think with like a if you had a Phil Line at uh, Brian Downey rhythm section, the song would be even better. As it stands, I mean, it's still it's still solid. It's still a cool tune, but uh, could be even better, unfortunately. Cracks in the ice from a heavy load. Another day, another episode. Hell bent to fire to a dandelion. Caught in the wind that a fork in the road. You sing a song that I can't make out I'm singing alone, can you hear me? Hear me shout Kiss on the ground you walk on Kiss on the world you buy Kiss on the ground you walk on What kind of fool was I? Kiss on the ground you walk on That was really good. That was really good. That was a really great solo. That was that was excellent. Like if you're trying to be Lizzie 2.0, that's a great solo. That is really great. I'm sure, you know, yeah, that's um, you know, Michael boycotts these, but like, that was really good. That was really really good. I'm sorry if you, if you don't like that. I mean, it's just you you're wrong. That's just good. And so is hope, my friend You're all uptight, thinking you reach the end You're pushing your push like a bird in the bush To get into the light, you gotta break from the bend Kiss on the ground, you walk on Kiss on the world, you bad Kiss on the ground, you walk on What kind of fool was I? Kiss on the ground, you walk on all right 
right, that was Kiss on the Ground. So unfortunately, I got kind of sad towards the end of this reaction because the album cover is really similar to an album cover by uh, the Eric Stewart Band. And it actually, I think came out like, uh, I think the same year. Um, don't know how easy this will be to pull up. Can I just do a display catcher? Oh, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Eric Stewart Band. Was that the was that the album that it was? No, what was the what was the album? Oh, why am I blanking on the name of the album? Um doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, see if that uh, shows up better. So yeah, that that was the uh, Eric Stewart band who I became I became friends with the guys in the band, and so that album came out I think like the same year or like you know very close in in time. Yeah, it came out 2013, and then Black Star Riders All Hell. What year was that? I think that was also 2013. Yeah, so they were both 2013 albums. They had kind of similar album covers, and. I became like uh, good friends with the with the drummer in the Eric Stewart band, and uh, just unfortunately he passed away. And so just like towards the end, I was thinking about like you know drums and um, you know like what I want from a drummer, et cetera. Like he was like one of my favorite drummers ever, and so um, you know just you know I, I've 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 ruminated on the idea of like doing a live stream where I just like get drunk and I don't drink drunk, but just like talk about all my dead friends that I miss and just drink and really just piss drunk and talk about all my dead friends who I miss. I'm like that, that, that'd be a, that's a Phil line. It kind of thing to do. Just like get, get pissed drunk and be like, ah, oh, I fucking remember this guy. What a great guy. It's a fucking shame. He's gone. Um, so towards the end of the song, because the album covers are so similar, I ended up just uh, just feeling the blues about that. Um, all right, I should I should turn off the display capture. Back to the that. But anyway, um, I feel like uh, listening to a little bit of my buddy Joe. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, great drummer. Um, so I'm gonna listen to him while we figure out the ranking of where we're gonna put Kiss in the Ground. You must have woke up today on the wrong side of the bed. You know, we'll rank it later. I'm just gonna join a buddy Joe. You know, the, the thing is, like, you're, you're not hearing anything that's, like, crazy technical on the drums, but Joe always played to the strength of the song, and that was what I loved about him as a drummer. Like, whenever he would play live, whatever the exact fill I would want him to play is, he would play, like, the exact fill I would want. Like, he was just such a perfect drummer. And, um, you know, before he died, um, like, we talked about, uh, like, doing a track together. And it just, it didn't happen because, you know, we got busy with life. I'm like, man, you know, even though at that point I had like retired from music and I was just like, I was done. I was over it. Uh, it's, it's still a bit of a bummer that we didn't get to do it. And, um, yeah, just a bummer, man.
Yeah, uh, great song. There's actually a, there's a Eric super fan I'm friends with. And actually, uh, I taught him how to play the song on guitar. It's like his most listened to song in history. And so I just remember having, you know, there, there's lots of good memories associated with the song. Just, you know, going to the pub, having a burger while the band plays the song, um, you know, hanging out with the boys afterwards. Um, you know, going to Joe's Christmas party and hearing the song on the speakers. It's just like, it, you know, it's a song that has a lot of good memories, but like, oh man, it's just like, uh, it's such a fucking bummer. Bittersweet. I do think maybe the drum production could have been uh, a little bit better. I think maybe just like the sound of the drums just doesn't have as much oomph as I would like. But I think that maybe, you know, that's more what Eric wanted. Because like live, Joe sounds much, sounded much better. Uh, sounds, present tense. Oh man, so freaking sad. Uh, if you guys want to see me do a live stream where I get really drunk and talk about my dead friends, uh, <laughs> let me know. Right. Um, oh no, we're not. We're we're not. We're not doing more of that right now. No, we're we're gonna just properly rank this and. Solid B rank tune. It's good. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Solid song. Um. Yeah, I I think I'm out of things to say for right now. So. Um, audience vote is going to be next. Um, make sure you vote in the poll. Um, yeah, I mean, I lost words. <laughs> I'll see everyone in the comments. Bye, everyone.